Welcome back to Make Play Treasure. Today we're reading Why I Sneeze, Shiver, Hiccup, and Yawn by Melvin Berger, illustrated by Paul Meisel. Why I do it. You are playing hide and seek. You found a good hiding place. You want to be as quiet as you can. All of a sudden, ka-choo! You sneeze. Everyone knows where you are. Why do you sneeze even when you don't want to? You are eating lunch with your friends. You're in the middle of telling them a story. All at once, you hiccup. Hic. Your friend starts to laugh. Hic. You try to stop. Hic. But you can't. Hic. Why do you hiccup even when you don't want to? A sneeze is a reflex. So is a hiccup. You don't have to think about making reflexes happen. They happen whether you want them to or not. They happen very fast and it's hard to stop them. Shivering and yawning are also reflexes. All reflexes work through your nervous system. Your nervous system is made up of two parts. One part is the nerves. The nerves look like long, thin threads. They reach all over your body. The other part is the spinal cord and brain. The spinal cord is a thick bundle of nerves. It is inside your spine or backbone. The brain is at the upper end of the spinal cord. It is made up of billions of tiny nerves. Nerves are like telephone wires. They carry messages back and forth. The brain and spinal cord are like the main office of the telephone company. All of the messages must go through here. Suppose you put your finger on a hot stove. The nerves in your hand sense that the stove is hot. They send out a message. The message speeds along nerves from your hand to your spinal cord. Here are the messages passes to a different nerve. This nerve controls the muscles that move your arm. A flash, a signal flashes through the nerve. It tells your muscles to move your hand and fast. Before you even know what hurts, your hand jerks away from the stove. Pulling your hand off a hot stove is a reflex. It happens very quickly and it is not completely under your control. It happens automatically without your having to think about making it happen. A sneeze is also a reflex, so you can't stop it even when you want to be extra quiet during a game of hide and seek. A bit of dust or dirt gets into your nose. The nerves sense that something is there that it's not supposed to be. They shoot the message to the brain. The brain sends a message to the spinal cord. In the spinal cord, the message passes to the other nerves that go to your diaphragm and belly muscles. The muscles contract and cause your lungs to send up a blast of air. Kachu! You sneeze. The sneeze blows the dust or dirt out of your nose. No one knows exactly why hiccups happen. We do know how they work. A message races to your spinal cord. From there, a nerve sends out a signal that makes you take a big gulp of air. But at that moment, your throat closes. The air bumps against your closed throat. It makes a sound. Hic! It's a hiccup. The sound gives the hiccup its name. The hiccup is a reflex. A drink of water may make the hiccups go away. A shiver is a reflex, just like sneezing and a hiccup. If you step out of a warm bath into a cool room, the nerves in your skin feel that it is cold in the room. They carry the message to nerves in your spinal cord. From the spinal cord, the message races through other nerves. All over your body, muscles quickly tighten and loosen, tighten and loosen. You are shivering. The moving muscles produce heat. The shivers warm you up. Have you ever tried to hold back a yawn? It's very hard to do. A yawn is another reflex. A yawn begins when the lungs have too little oxygen in them. Nerve signals the muscles around your jaw to pull apart. You yawn, and as you do, you take an extra deep breath of air. With more oxygen in your lungs, you feel a little less sleepy. A reflex you can see happens in your eyes. Go into a bright room. After a few minutes, look in a mirror. The black part of your eye, that's the pupil, will be small. Then close your eyes for a few minutes and look in the mirror again. Your pupils will be big and round. If you wait a few moments with your eyes open in the same room, you will notice that your pupils have gotten small again. A reflex makes the pupils in your eyes grow larger when there is too little light. This lets more light into your eyes. A reflex also makes your pupils go smaller in bright light. Doctors sometimes test reflexes. Have you ever had the test? You sit on a table with your legs hanging down. The doctor taps just below the knee. 
the tool that is used looks like a hammer with a rubber head. Suddenly, your leg kicks up. This is a reflex. It is sometimes called the patellar reflex or knee jerk. A strong patellar reflex is usually a sign of a healthy nervous system. Here is another reflex that you can test for yourself. Take off a shoe and sock. Ask a friend to gently scratch the bottom of your foot with a toothpick. The scratch should go from your heel to your big toe. Watch your toes slowly bend down. This is called the plantar reflex. It probably helps people walk on rough ground or climb trees barefooted. You have dozens of different reflexes. They protect your nose and throat from dust and dirt. They can keep you from burning yourself on a hot stove. They warm you up when you feel cold. Think of that next time you sneeze when you don't want to or when you hiccup, shiver, or yawn. The end. Hope you like this book and remember to like and subscribe so you can keep up with our reading events and activities. Catch you next time on Make Play Treasure. Bye!